Hey, I'm Jesse Vollmer, one of the founders of Farm Logs, and just wanted to take a quick minute to tell you guys about what we're working on. We're a relatively new company. Um, I myself grew up on a farm, about 1,200 acre row crop farm in Michigan, and we were a little bit frustrated with the technology that was available to us on the farm. And having a connection to the computer science industry, um, I wanted to try to solve some of those problems. So. My co-founder and I have developed a new modern farm management platform called Farm Logs, and we are trying to make it very easy for the farmer to clearly see what goes into producing your crops. And so I've got um, a quick demo here on the iPad showing off um, some of our product. Like many farm management platforms, you can see the borders of your fields, the boundaries. We've made that a little bit easier. So adding fields is as simple as clicking the Add Field button and will automatically draw the boundaries for you. You can just quickly give it a name, it'll calculate the acreage, and then behind the scenes, we'll pull in for you eight years worth of crop history and eight years worth of rainfall data. So let's go ahead and take a look. We can click on this field name, and we can see the accumulated precipitation for that piece of ground for uh, the current season that we're looking at, which is 2012, and then the five-year average that we're comparing against. We've also pulled in up to eight years back, so we could go back and look at previous years and see that 2012 was a little bit drier out in Michigan than uh, um, 2010 there. And you also notice this is a historical crop. I didn't have to enter that. The system automatically pulled that in for you when you added the field. Part of the analytics that we provide is easily looking at every crop year you have on your farm and what you were growing. We can start at the top and see that we had a number of different corn fields when we planted, when we harvested. We can look at the inputs that we're putting into these crops, the activities that are happening on the fields. So if we needed to report our planting dates, it's as simple as just clicking on planting and there we have all our planting dates for our corn fields and our yields. We can also toggle easily between years and crops. So let's take a look at our soybean crop. We've pulled in with that crop history, the county average yield, so we can benchmark your individual fields against your county's average for the year that you're looking at. That's all happening automatically for you. Um, I'm showing this on an iPad. This is the web version. We work on both uh, Android and iPad, iPhone, uh, as well as the web, so you can access this anywhere. The data is automatically synchronized for you, so we make it pretty easy. Sure, so um, one, you can find us on the web. It's very easy to sign up at farmlogs.com. We don't require a credit card to get started. Um, there is going to be an entirely free tier where you can try it out and use the product for as long as you like without having to uh, pay anything. And then there's some premium features that you can upgrade to if, if you choose. Uh, so really, you know, we're trying to build that relationship, learn you know, what problems can we solve for the grower, um, primarily you know those farmers growing row crops um, so mostly in the Midwest here in the United States but we do have people from all around the world using the product um, and you know we're here listening trying to find out you know how else can we help so that's something that we've talked a lot about um, you know there's a lot of data that is being generated and collected on the farm a lot of information has to be managed so you know, when you buy crop insurance and you want to report production history and, and uh, planting dates, you know, that's, time goes into that. And so Farm Logs makes it very easy for the grower to organize all that information and keep that information in one place. And so the natural next step is to be able to work with their partners, right? Work with those people in the industry that you need to share some of that data with and make it as simple as a click of a button. So, um, you know, we're, we're trying to talk with um, all sorts of partners in the industry, agronomists, you know, ag retailers, and, um, and you know, even ag lenders and, and crop insurance agents to find out how can we add value to that relationship between um, the customer, you know, the farmer and the partner. And I think a lot of that's going to be making it very easy to exchange the data that the farmer wants to exchange with that partner.